Got an idea here. I've got my strong scot, which is dry hop. One of the problems I've been having when I dry hop beers is no matter how hard I try, even with using my siphon, I get some of those hops up into the keg or, or whatever. So a buddy of mine said about taking one of his hop bags and he puts it over his siphon and sticks it down in and that keeps any of the, the, the hops that he's dry hopping from getting up into the siphon. He said, however, in doing this, sometimes it clogs up, understandable, so you got to kind of pull it up out and, and all that jazz. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually using a paint strainer. I've used these as hop bags every once in a while. They work great actually for hop bags with leaf hops. Not so much with uh, pellet hops because pellet hops really they're really small and they'll make it through these holes. But I'm thinking that this might not clog up quite as fast. So what I do is I have it on there as you can see and I sanitized this. This was in my sanitizer. I took a rubber band and I just kind of rubber banded up around the top here. So cross our fingers. Let's see how this works out. Get the other stuff. this top off. I've got my, what I'm getting ready to do here is actually, uh, I'm splitting a little bottle half of this and I'm caking half of it because I got an empty cake. So, off you go. There we are. This is going to be even tougher yet because this is my glass carboy which is a real tight, I went down in there okay. And get the pose. Pose down in the bottle and bucket. Uh, attach it. Let's give her a pulse. There we go. Well, so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and add in, this is a, see it's five ounces, it's two and a half, two and a half ounces of corn sugar uh, diluted in um, one cup of water, three quarters of a cup of water. Um, that'll work for carbonation. <laughs> I'm doing it's basically a half a batch because I plan on bottling only a, you know a case of this and the other the other half actually goes in the keg. My keg is here. It's all I'm, it's got cleaner in it, but I'm gonna wait until the very last minute to actually start to do this. So I keep an eye on here. What I'm gonna do is fill this bucket up to about two and a half gallons. Um, then I, then I'll just probably pull this up out. Switch things around, stick this over into my into my keg, and uh, fill the keg up the rest of the way, and then I'll start to bottle. Um, that's going on pretty quick. So that and so far, it looks like it's working. I can't imagine I'm going to get any hops through that. That is a, it's a cloudy beer. Right now I'm enjoying one of my half wits. This is a cross between a wit and a wheat beer. Um, it's quite tasty. High ABV. This one finished out at about, I think it was 7%. So uh, it, it, it puts it to you. I want to see. Wow. This got is brown. I mean, it is brown, 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 brown. So this is what I've been doing lately. I've been splitting my beers up because I want to try and build a good surplus up of a uh, bottled beer. Uh, plus, I love my cake beer. I like to come down here and pour whatever I have on tap. So 
The only downside to doing it this way is uh, my kegs empty out pretty quick. Because <laughs> I'm only, I only end up with uh, you know, two and a half gallon kegs. So they don't, they don't go very far. But it gives me a nice selection of bottled beer. And it always gives me a nice selection of uh, keg beer, really. When you think of it, I've got something new on tap. What, about every two weeks? Something new, so... Works out quite well. I am at... A little over two gallons. It's siphoning out quite well. So I, I would have to say at this point, it's a success with the, with the, the filter there. Because it's really not slowing down much at all. Let me get rid of this cleaner out of here. That way I can go right into this keg. This way I don't make a mess. And I went over, I went over a little bit, not really a big deal, because uh, got it going again good, because what I don't end up, you know, what, what doesn't fit into a full case, I should have a little bit left over, I'll just pour that right into this cake. And, uh, and we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna grab my spoon. It's already been sterilized with our manual, so I'll... I'd like to. For, for those of you home brewers that have made a bad batch, <laughs> you completely understand the analness of anal retentiveness of clean, 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 clean. I want to mix this all. This is really brown. Wow, this is really brown. This should be a fairly big beer. And I didn't take a gravity reading of it, of course. Damn, I'm bad with that. I don't want to take a gravity reading out of that. Oh, yeah, I'll take it out of the keg. I'm really bad with my gravity reading. Thing. Really bad. So I already got Mary's gonna help me with uh, with my bottling. Uh, so there we have it. So far, I'd have to say that's a success because that's draining out pretty quick. I'm gonna get into doing this so I can finish it up and we can go to bed tonight. So, pretty successful night. We brewed up a lemonade. I'm getting ready to bottle and keg a strong Scottish ale. Remember folks, enjoy the fruits of your labor and brew beer. This is SJ Port Little Face Brewing. Have fun and enjoy.